Sure. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. It wasn't long ago that Democrats were the party that told you they were in favor of safe, legal and rare abortion. No longer. You can't be a viable Democratic candidate without genuflecting before the altar of mass abortion. Not only that, but many candidates have said the efforts to restrict abortion in Georgia, Alabama and other states are, quote, racist. <laughs> But, of course, it's the opposite, as it always is. In fact, it's the abortion industry that is specifically built on race, convincing African-American women it's a good idea to kill their own children. We recently spoke with Stephanie Curry with the Family Policy Alliance about this. Here's how the conversation went. The numbers are remarkable. African-American women are much more likely um, to resort to abortion. They're targeted, I think, by Planned Parenthood. Um, you made the point that this is not, this is not a new phenomenon. Absolutely not, Tucker. Um, Planned Parenthood and big abortion has been targeting the black community and the black population, and that's nothing new. As you said, Planned Parenthood intentionally targets the black community. 80% of Planned Parenthood surgical abortion facilities are within walking distance of black and brown neighborhoods. Since Roe v. Wade, 30 to 50 percent of the black population has been eliminated through abortion. And in some of our cities, Tucker, more black baby babies are aborted than are born. So this is obviously a disaster. If, if you care about people or a community, then you want them to have children. I love my children. I want them to have their own children. Right. That That's what you that's what you wish for someone you actually love, care about. And if you don't like someone, you want them to stop reproducing. Why does nobody say that? You know, the pro-choice party of today um, really has a degrading argument towards black women. And it's almost racist in that black women are... Um, perpetually ill-prepared and incapable of raising their own children or providing safe and healthy environments for their children or quality education. And the only option available to them is population control. So this is how we got Planned Parenthood in the first place, though, it was eugenics. It was the affluent white liberals who worried that too many black babies were being born. Margaret Sanger said that out loud repeatedly. So did a lot of the early proponents of Planned Parenthood. Why has that stigma not attached to Planned Parenthood? That's absolutely right. Margaret Singer came out of the eugenicist movement and targeted the black community intentionally and aggressively. And I believe that is still going on today. And in fact, abortion is probably a far more effective tool of eugenics because you're able to target a baby specifically based That's upon right. immutable characteristics and traits. That's exactly right. I, I hate mm -hmm. to say this out loud, but the only black leader that comes immediately to mind who said anything about this at all is Louis Farrakhan, who I'm obviously not endorsing. But why is it left to Louis Farrakhan to say this? Why is he the only person I can remember saying this? Well, that's an excellent question. I ask myself the same thing. Why aren't we speaking up more? And I think part of the reason is because the pro-choice party's messaging has been so effective. They've been using it for over a century. And I've made the point before that over a hundred years ago, the messaging was my state, my choice, where states can choose whether slavery was a morally acceptable option for them. And today, <laughs> that argument has become my body my choice. But Tucker, look, when over 30 to 50 percent of the black population is missing in one generation, that is genocide. And genocide is not a right or That's a right. choice. And we need to be speaking out about this. That's exactly right. And it just says so much about their motives. They can say they love you, but if they put abortion clinics in your neighborhood, they're lying. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> Debbie, thank, thank you correct. for the bravery it is it is correct. Thank it's absolutely. You. And nobody wants to say that, but it's demonstrable. Thank you for joining us tonight. Good to see you. Thank you, Tucker. Congressman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez.